Hi, this is Galvin Tan from galvintan.com and right in front of you here is the brand new Lenovo IdeaPad U300S Ultrabook. Thanks to the good people from Lenovo Malaysia, I managed to get my hands on this test unit to do a full hands-on review for the next couple of weeks. Now the IdeaPad U300 has been launched for a couple of months now and I've seen many pictures and videos of the uh, U300S on the internet however I haven't seen the physical unit itself so today I'm going to do the unboxing together with you now if you have purchased the IdeaPad U300S you probably get it in a bigger box a pattern box and I've taken obviously I've taken it out from the box and here you have it as it is now if you remove this we have here is the Ultrabook itself now let me remind you that this is a test unit in, uh, for very obvious reason, it has been unwrapped and re-wrapped many times but the uh, good people from Lenovo Malaysia managed to wrap it up nicely again alright here we have the ultra book and let's take a look into the items in the box uh, it's very basic here I think we have three boxes here and here we have the power adapter alright and here it's I believe would be the manual and user guide yes it is and lastly it's I think it's the power cable to connect for the uh, power adapter to power up your ultrabook okay let's take a closer look at the ultrabook itself and put the box aside let's take it up from the wrap wrapper Okay, hey, here we have it. Right, um, as you can see, the U trainer has has got a very nice metallic brush aluminium finishing, and as you know, the Ultra Books are actually to rival the MacBook Air, and by the look of it, the iPad U trainer S definitely has got the potential to rival the MacBook Air. But however, let's take a closer look before we jump into any conclusion. Alright, okay, let's take a look at the side here. I'm not sure whether you can see it, but over here it's very simple. There's only three things here. Uh, here is the um, recovery button, the one touch recovery button for you to restore back to factory setting if anything happens to your, your Ultrabook. And we have an air vent here and one USB port over this side right over the front here there's nothing and over on the right side we have four things here is nothing here we have the power socket for the power adapter and then we have a HDMI port here and we have another USB port over here and lastly here is definitely for the headphone jack right Overall, the IdeaPad U300 is really nice. It's, it feels really solid and rigid, and it's really nice to hold and actually sleep underneath your armpit. Right, and however, he has got a rather edgy finishing at the side here. Uh, take a closer look at the back. Alright. Now, the, the, the Lenovo out uh, IdeaPad U Trend S has got the similar dimension <coughs> to the MacBook Air. However, it's it's definitely lighter and and thinner than the MacBook Air. Okay, it has got a 12.8 by 8.5 inch dimension and the thickness of 0.58 inch. Right, uh, whereas the MacBook Air is about 0.68. All right, and it weighs 2.9 pound, slightly light, slightly lighter than the MacBook Air. Now let's take a closer look into the inner part of of it. All right, okay, we have here a piece of cloth to wipe off any fingerprints. Nice, 
and of course we have the QWERTY keyboard here chiclet style very spacey very nice to type um, but I think the keypads are not backlit as I can see it's a solid print we have here a, unif a uniform touchpad power button and that's about it right over here it's the IDPad logo etched onto the palm rest and it has got the same matte finishing as the outer side of the ultrabook and here we have the HD display right obviously we have we can't see it now we we'll probably see it in the later part and we have one webcam here all right we'll go through um, the other feature of the Leatherball iPad U S Ultrabook little part in my other posting so stay tuned and check out my blog at blog.galvintan.com for the rest of the review on the Leatherball iPad U S Ultrabook thank you very much